Was that for if you need to hold them? No, that's all is for whenever I'm towing you. <laughs> Give me strength this day. <laughs> Right, so we're at Wright Engineering, correct? That's right, yeah. This is Greg, the boss man. That's me. And what are we here today to get? Get our weight block for the front of the Mighty 78. Yes, boy. What size is she? She is 750 kilos. She has a toe and eye and a sight stick. I think that's all, I think that's all she yeah. has. Keep her sample. We'll go and see. I know you can get a lot of bells and whistles. What options do you offer on top of that? Like LED lights. Strobes, marker lights, uh, toolbox. Uh, we do on the twin toolboxes in the top. Yes. Uh, or the front, the like of that one there is the front toolbox. And then that left side. So you can take your tools around the back or wherever you're working. And then you pull them back in. What's the dimensions of that box? I think they're a foot wide, I'll just tell you. 11 inches by but nine inches. Yes. And then the depth of the box usually. Yes. That one there, not very deep because of the cut out in the back for the tombstone for those that don't have front linkage. So you can just put it directly on the weight carrier in the front of the tractor. Yes. So you just drive in, set that down on your weight carrier and drop it in the pen. So what's that designed for a new hole? That one's for a, uh, a fan block on a new hole. Uh, that one's for John Deere, obviously. Are you building everything to order? More or less. We do a few, we we'll have a few for stock, but I can't keep them long enough to be stocked. As soon as they're made, they're, they're out the door, so. How many do you think you've made now in total? I can tell you, six, it's about 600 roughly. About 194 this year. We're on 206 last year, all year, so we're ahead of schedule this year. How long are you going? Been going myself for ten years. That's ten years this year. But I haven't been making weight blocks all that time. Won't even probably. I think it was 2015 was the first one. Well, what were you doing at the start? Anything and everything, farm repairs and cattle gates and just repair a lot of repair work, mostly farm stuff. And then it kind of progressed into the tidier, cleaner work. Well, dare I ask, what price is the weight block now, in terms of weight and... Pound a kilo. Pound a kilo? Pound a kilo, for your basic weight and then your extras are... Yes. Well, what's the likes of your toe and eye extra? Your toe and eye is 50 quid. Your tool front tool box is 60. So is the tombstone any difference in price then? Yeah, there's an extra 100 pound for a tombstone mount. Yes. Uh, so a 500 kilo for, for a tombstone like that, It'd be 600 pound instead of 500. LED lights? Uh, 100 pound a set. And the marker? Uh, the marker pole it comes with the toe and eye. You can either have the D handle like that one. Yes. Or the side stick. It makes no difference. Well, what's the most British block you've ever made? I had one out there two days ago. It was two ton. Yes. What was that going in the front of? It was actually going in the back of a T5. Something or other, with a loader, big loader, big right. bit of a loader. Okay, okay. She was too light in the back. Yes. But he also has a T7, 270. Uh huh. And he was going to use it in the front of her when, when need be, you know? Yes. So. The black looks well. Aye. Uh -huh. I toyed with the idea of a black one in front of this. Yeah. But I wasn't sure. I just saw we it. did do a black and green before, but it was the other way around. It was a green block with black plates. Aye. Uh -huh. Black linkage. So, how far away are you shipping them? We shipped the furthest away was New Zealand. We put to be eight. There's eight in New Zealand, but I haven't sent any there for probably two years now. I would have thought the cost of shipping would be like limited to sort of national no, coverage. Well, he's a fellow that was originally from Ireland. He's out there and he imports trailers and tires. And yes. so I was shipping the blocks to the south to the tire man, and he was building them into the container along with the tires and then shipping the whole lot. So I didn't take anything to do with the shipping of it. I suppose it was someone you could put into a load to fat so fall around. He was getting the, basically he was shipping the trailers, he was getting his tires shipped for free and then he was getting the weight blocks in around them and shipping them for free. So 
I made sense that way. But most most of my my own shopping or most of them go to the south, to England, Scotland, Wales. Well, uh, much as it makes a if you were buying a block off New Holland or John Deere or whatever, it, like twenty kilo wouldn't buy that. No, it wouldn't. I don't honestly know that. There was a fella was in here a couple of weeks ago, and he had priced a, a nine hundred kilo John Deere one with the top length, and I think he said it was over two thousand pound. That so whether that's right or not, I don't know. If you were lucky, you might pick up a John Deere 900 kilo for a, a thousand pounds, but they're like hands teeth. Yes, uh, they're not a lot on the second hand. Like I, at the time I was looking for blocks, I was thinking that's what I'd go for, and there wasn't yeah. a lot of options. No, no. And then a lot of boys don't want the 900 kilo; they want to run something a wee bit lighter. So, what's this lifter then? Is that something new? Ah, uh, no. That's the probably third or fourth year of them. So she lifts one side, but she tips it both as well. well. What's different about yours compared to the options on the market? Some of them I noticed that was they left the, they left the leg. Is uh, yours going like the both sides? She lifts in a linkage, so she lifts up, but she also lifts back a wee bit. So this this bit here, so you go and lift your foot, put your first bale on here, lift that up to there, and that gives you your clearance to lift the second bale. But I say then she'll tip them both. Or if you only wanted to tip one, if you keep that one up, then the trip mechanism misses it. So you could tip that one without that one. Yes. If you had an odd number in a row, or even sometimes boys in the winter would tip one in one field and then go to the, on up the field a bit or into a different field to tip them for winter feeding. Yes. The light bracket's a good job. And then we put the lights on, I just to try and keep the thing a bit more legal. Can they reach over the bales? Because well, the bales have been r round, it's, yeah, it's just the shoulder's there. It's round, yeah, there, so you, it should be visible over it, yeah. Part of the reason I really like this block is it sits flush, see all the weight sits in behind the arms, so I can get close to get posts, but not quite touch. I'd love to see if this helps my TLS, any? Oh, it should do, yeah. She is, she is riding smooth, but see, whenever she's empty and no trailer on, you would notice it more that there's a bit of that old yeah. hop. So I'm curious to even see that they're on home here in a good road. Oh, well, I'll definitely make a difference. Look forward to seeing your sticker when you get it designed and get it on her. <laughs> That's the thing, actually. Uh, normally, you have your is it a little tech in there. Yeah, yeah. That's your like. That's the right engineering symbol. So the reason we haven't got the tech is because I want to brand up the front of the tractor. So I'm torn as to which brand I'm actually going to do. I'm not doing farm flex. It's they're going to be ag life or straight six. Uh -huh. And it's like I like ag life because it's about the farming. I like straight six because it's about the machinery, and I'm sort of torn. Yes. So. In the comments, they can tell us what do you think. The public will decide. Yes. Make the call, Ag Life or Straight Six on the front of the weight block. I'll have to see if I'm finding use for it now. Get something heavy on the back. A big ply on her. A big wet hole. Maybe you shouldn't be any bother finding one of them. No, not this time of year. So that's a good bit of tar there, flat out. I wouldn't say I see much difference. My TLS must have been working well. It was working well the other day at Richard's Garden Village. Um, a couple of bad bumps, just outside the, the gateway of the first fill. And when you hit them at speed, like you could just see the big lunge of the, the nose, doing a big nose dive and then up again. I'd say my 
the theory of the weight block helping her empty is wrong. Not that much difference. Which makes sense, because it's the back that's in the hobbit. The only thing I'm wondering now about leaving her not smooth is the old tires. Now these old tires let me down the last day we were out. Uh, sidewalls, I've seen better days. There's a lot of meat left on them yet, they're far from done, which is the frustrating thing. You know, there's plenty of grip left there, but for my hobby work, I really do not need to be buying new tires. So, you'll know if I have tires on her, I've either gone mad or I've got them at a reasonable price. Well, Mr. Clyde, I wasn't expecting to uh, spend my evening with you or with your uh, wheelbarrow on. Hey. <laughs> now we're going to get her stepped around where you parked the Jeep in an awkward place, huh? I know I need some turn circle, man. I'm just going to get abuse here the whole way, aren't I? Uh, I think so. Do you, do you want to explain her? Uh, I never should have ever, ever said anything bad about John Deere's. I thought you were going to say never ever ever bought a new Holland. I thought that's what you were going to come out with, sorry. Uh, uh, so sorry, so uh, tell me, uh, how, many, uh, how, how many tractors do you own? Uh, Remind me again. I have two. Two? Two what? I have two TSAs, two New Holland. New Holland's, yes, yes. How many of your New Holland's are working right now? That would be zero. John, <laughs> much to your delight. <laughs> You see, this is the amazing thing, is even if this one stops, I can argue, well, I've only got one, but like, it's embarrassing when you've got two. What's all these flashing lights here? <laughs> What's I, all I, I know exactly what that's about. That's, that's me trying to save money in parts. Uh, one of them, she just won't drive. I know, she'll go drive in ninth and then can't change gear. I think it's possibly a solenoid. I'm hoping it's a solenoid. Yes. But dear knows, and the four wheel drive's not working her, so both of them things need sorted out. The other one had a little diesel leak, which decided to stop leaking diesel. But then decided to start leaking diesel again. I thought I could chance her up the road, didn't make it. Well, that'd be 500 yards, couldn't even make it to the roundabout. She just died off, the diesel started to go on fire or something. James was burning, <laughs> just up around, couldn't see. Got her nurse back down into the yard, and hence why you are coming to bring signage down from that farm. Yes, yes. I, it's just going to annoy me now, I just can't even say anything smart about this. Oh, well, you can't be slobbering about her whenever she's pulling you out of a hole, like. That'd be just <laughs> rude, that'd be just rude at all. That's going to be more sickening when I have to get you to use this to take the tractors to the mechanics on a low loader. I am looking forward to uh, the, photo, the, the photo opportunity that that is going to present. I'm going to actually, you know what, I'm going to go and find someone else with a new Holland to take me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I reversing in here or is I even in here? Uh, drive straight down and uh, I'd open the gate under the rattle. Yes, yes. You know, I'm a bit longer now with my new Whitlock like. I don't need to be taking down any walls now. I'll try to keep the fin work on her for at least a week, you know. She looks well. Driving in there, reversing I just drive, you'd, I'd open the gate under the rattle, you should drive in. Okay, just set her right into the middle of it. Well, not quite that far. You leave the trailer just there. You still have the sheep hurdles up, Hurst? Well, it's because the sheepies wanted to escape and the hurdles over there didn't really do a good job. <laughs> Your tractor's that high, I have to get out the proper road. Four. How many steps to heaven there? <laughs> so what is it, what are we doing here, Chief, for this trailer that we have down in the out farm here? What's going on? Well, of a pit of grass, well, a little bit of a pit of grass from a couple of years ago. When did you open this one? I opened that about 10 days ago. There was a queen of cattle in, there was feeding the hay, and all the cattle will be coming in soon. This is all the cart down. But it's. Sort of stuff, is it? It's not too bad of stuff, but there's plenty of waste here. You don't really like to see that much waste over your pit. Did you not roll it or what? Oh, it was rolled and it was covered with cover and tires. But in theory, the side is safe, cover, no waste. Um, was that late, early grass? What was it? 
Wet or dry? You tell me. You carried this in. I think it was wet. I think it was raining. That was a bit damp going on. We drew this last field. Last field. The last field that went into this would be the top, stuff on top of it came out of your, the, on the pole field. Uh, would have been. We've done a bit of a rare fashion of grass going down the road and then bringing grass back up. <laughs> I do remember that, yes, hauling grass down t to, uh, hauling the grass from here to Galley Hill and then at the end it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, here, you couldn't uh, pull a couple of back up the ball, I know. I, I got my measurements wrong and my, I didn't just judge it quite right, like. Right. How many grabs fits in the wheelbarrow? I'm only putting six in for all the cattle that's in it, the minute it'll go off, but to be right, I should have been bringing away the cattle up to use the this over the winter, but the sheds is... Why is the pattern so hairy like that? Normally it's like, oh, it's like, it's like straight across, like a horizontal line. Did you not put it in layers, Alan? It was kind of put it in layers. Problem with that there is that was last year, the shear bar kept slipping and a lot of it was longer. So it was like longer stringy stuff. Plus even that shear grab is that banjax now when she's clamping down through, it's pulling. Yes, you're ripping it out more than uh, cutting it out. Getting ripped out rather than cut out like. I need a new shear grab. We shear grab donation, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, it'll be nice, like. Oxy's, I'm gonna have to change the shear grab. I have no idea what shear grab to go for, but I've patched and fixed and messed about with that far too much. That's just, our hanger time's done. Hey right, lad, light her up. Did we see what she's fit for? See if this thing doesn't start now. I'll just make my day. Should have had faith in her, should have had faith. Are you seated comfortably? See, normally I would make a comment about a John Deere seat compared to the New Hollands. <laughs> That's just not in me to do right now. I find the ground held up well enough there with the slurry in the tankers. A couple of places now, you just you see the line where they were, you know, they were just feeling their way, I suppose. And you can never really tell whenever it's going to start marking, but just so happened it was a drone shot where he went out just a different line and then you just see the big black line starting up here. And that, bottom head stand there. That's always a debate in my head is like what what is the right way to go about it? You better just mark it the one spot or you better spread it around. In my head it's nearly at the one spot every time. And at least that one run you can nearly run the bar like the bar apply or something. Like there'd, there'd, be, there'd better be farmers out there would be like, look at them two bigger ups you put in my fence or never get that one again. <laughs> Open the window just so you can listen to her. Ah, let you hear what a real tractor sounds like that time. Ah. Right, I'll let you away with it after tonight. Then I'll start biting back again. You made it away, horse. You made it away. Yeah, my John Deere's got nothing but hassle. Do you know what we were doing there, Andrew? See, this is called maintenance, Andrew. Oh, this is what you do to a tractor is when you see something that's not quite right, even if it's not quite broken. You fix it before it breaks. <laughs> so when your tractor's leaking diesel, you don't try to go on cart signage with it? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I know we've got a lot of new subscribers on the channel this year. This is simply a call to go and see what we actually do for a living. Take the trial, it's completely free, no credit card details required. Jump in there and see the actual episodes that some of these behind the scenes have been shot with. 
So guys, fill the beds this Christmas when you're stuck indoors. Like my shirt? <laughs>